Welcome back, YouTube. Blade Shadowthorn here back again with another Wi Fi battle. This one's going to be against the, uh, the flawless one, I believe. Um, looking at uh, my team, I'm using my fairly standard old, 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 since destroyed, burned to the ground, and never to be seen again. OU team, which comprises of a specially defensive tenant cruel, physically defensive Ferrothorn, choice uh, expert belt. Genesec, Choice Scarf Latios, Choice Bandit Kong Kelder, and a Expert Belt Greninja. Looking over his team, he has the Rotom, the Rotom Heat, which I'm assuming is going to be specially defensive. The physically defensive Rock Spikes, Rapid Spinning, um, Fortress, probably spe uh, I'm gonna guess Life Orb. Look, judge, just looking at his team, Life Orb, um, Gudra, probably Choice Scarf, Mian Shell, Mega Gyarados, and Life or Sure Force Needle King. Either that or it's gonna be scarfed. Um so yeah, let's just get right into the battle to see how it turns out. So he's gonna be issuing me a challenge. Uh, and before you say anything, yes, I do know the Genesect is not banned to Ubers. It was not banned to Ubers before this battle was taking place. So I'm gonna be leading off with Tentacruel, predicting him to lead off with his Rotom. I'm gonna be able to eat up the Volt Switch because I know I can because I'm have so much special default, just defensive bulk. It might seem weird to you that I lead, let off with my freaking um, uh, Tentacruel predicting the uh, the Rotom lead, but I have the Miracle, which means I'm able to do mad, mad damage to this Gudra. Like, insanely mad damage to this Gudra. Oh god. Oh god. This, 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 it was so delicious. I'm now going to be able to go for a knockout because I'm pretty sure at the range of HP where it's at I can knock it out, but unfortunately I can't, and it lives barely, and it's able to go for Thunderbolt. If I would have went for a Mirko, I would have been dead, I would not have to worry about that anymore, but unfortunately I didn't. So it's still around. I'm going to go for one more knockoff, hoping I can knock it out, and I can with a critical hit. Not sure if the crit mattered. Yeah, I don't think it did, but it might have, but anyways... Either way, I'm able to knock out the Gudra. Finally, uh, so you know that's that's a pretty big threat out of the way. He's gonna bring in his Rotom again. Pretty sure just go for a Volt Switch. I'm gonna go for the Mirror Code again. Maybe thinking I can live it. Um, possibly if he got like min damage, but unfortunately he didn't, and he's gonna be able to knock out my uh Tentacruel. It doesn't matter really, cause it did a pretty good job in knocking out a Gudra, which is a huge threat to me. So he's going to bring in the Fortress, I'm going to bring in my Genesect. No real reason not to, I mean, like, I get the special attack raise, so obviously Flamethrower is obvious, because I, I know he has um, Sturdy, so he's going to be able to live and probably get up a layer of Stealth Rocks. Overall, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, so he's going to be able to get up his Stealth Rocks there, that's fine by me. So rocks aren't that, like, devastating, I don't think. Yeah, so he's gonna get a little bit of le uh, leftovers HP recovery. I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz, predicting him to switch out into something to take the Flamethrower. Unfortunately, though, that's not the case, and he's just gonna sack off his Fortress. I probably should have predicted that, but I don't know. Anyways, he's gonna bring in his Rotom Fan. I say Rotom Fan, Rotom Heat. Uh, I'm actually thinking by the way he's been playing with it, it might be Choice Scarf, so I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go onto my Latios to take the Overheat. Uh, as he just opts to go for a Volt Switch, I guess see, uh, he knows I'm not Choice Scarf because I went, I switched things up, went for Bug Buzz. So I don't really know, I'm thinking he's probably Choice Scarf, he predicted me to switch out. Anyways, he's gonna go out into his Gyarados, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a Gyarados, what am I gonna do? Because Mega Gyarados has the potential to sweep my team. Anyways, he's gonna make, nicely go for that powerful, powerful Mega Evolution, and Mega Gyarados looks pretty sick. I, I like Mega Gyarados, and the fact that it's Water Dark. Like, if, if Greninja wasn't Water Dark, I mean, like, freaking Garrett, Gyarados is pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the nice and powerful Choice Scarf Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, though, he did Mega Evolve, so it's only, uh, two times super effective instead of four times super effective. He's gonna go for the Ice Fang! Knock me out! It was like, oh, Ice Fang. That sucks. Anyways, I can go now into my Conk, my Conk Keldor, my Conk Keldor, and, uh, he obviously doesn't want to stay in. He knows a Drain Punch, Mog Punch is coming my way, he doesn't want to stay in. I'm going to go out into Nido King, which, you know, Nido King's pretty cool. I do go for the Mog Punch, I do not want to play games with this thing. It does a good chunk of damage for it being, like, banded, resistant hit. Obviously, I don't want to stay in and take whatever hit he wants to go for, so I'm going to go out into my Ferrothorn, 
being my physically defensive wall, I'm pretty sure he wants to go for something physical. If he opts to go for something special, I, I now know like what, what Needle King set this is. I know for some reason a lot of Needle Kings like to run special instead of physical for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, it does turn out that he's special, so I do lose my Ferrothorn, which kinda sucks, but at the same time it was a needed sacrifice to know which one he is. So I'm gonna go out of Micro Ninja now, because no like I know I can take an Earth Power if I have to, and maybe I'm faster than it. Uh, it does, by the way, he switches. I'm pretty sure that he's Life Orb now instead of Choice Scarf, because if he was Choice Scarf, he'd probably would stay in, because he could outspeed me potentially. So he's gonna bring back in his Gyarados as I go for the Hydro Pump. Just like no reason, just trying to get as much damage off as possibly can. There was no real reason to predict him to switch, just because I, uh, like, even if he does switch, nothing on his team really wants to take a Hydro Pump. Anyways, right here, uh, I don't want to stay in, so I'm going to switch out, I'm going to go out into my Genesec, kind of as Death Fodder, but I know I can live one hit, and then probably retaliate back with an I, uh, Bug Buzz or something like that. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get the nice and powerful attack raise, which is completely useless to me because I actually pack four attacks. As he goes to the Waterfall, I'm not, I guess, predicting me to switch out, which would have been a pretty risky play, but I don't know. It did a nice chunk of damage to my... Um, Genesect though, so he's gonna switch out, he's gonna go on his Mian Chow. I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz, again, there was no reason to predict the switch out into Mian Chow. Plus I have absolutely nothing to really hit Mian Chow hard with. Uh, so he's gonna go for High Jump Kick, unfortunately that will be the end of Genesect. It's kinda sad, but at the same time, really nothing on my team wants to take a High Jump Kick. Um, but it does turn out that the Mian Chow is Life Orbed, which means, which means my Greninja can outspeed this Mian Xiao, which is pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into my Greninja. going to go for the nice and powerful uh, Hydro Pump. Try and knock out this uh, Mian Xiao. And I will be able to knock it out with this Hydro Pump. So that's pretty cool. The Mian Xiao was a big threat on my team. Because High Jump Kick would do a lot of damage to everything on my team. Now he's going to bring back in. Back in the Gyarados. And I'm like, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? I'm gonna switch out again because obviously I can't touch this. Um, I can't touch this Gyarados, so I'm gonna go back out of my Kung Kelder because I know I can take a hit and then retaliate back with a um, Mock Punch. He's gonna go for an Earthquake instead. I'm not quite sure why a Waterfall would have been po more powerful, but anyway, he's gonna decide to swap back out into. This time he's gonna go out into his Rotom. Um, as I just go straight away for the Drain Punch, because I knew he was going to switch, and I just want to get a huge chunk of damage off on anything that wants to come in. Even if he does want to bring back in his Nido King, he won't appreciate a not, uh, Drain Punch. He won't appreciate it. So anyways, I am actually able to catch the incoming Rotom Heat, and I'm able to knock it out, which is amazing. And now he's going to bring in his Nido King, he's going to go for the Sludge Wave. Um, probably just could stab and stuff like that. And I'm able to live! I'm able to live with 18 HP, which is like, uh, the, the bare minimum of HPs. But unfortunately for me, though, I have nothing to take this, take on this Needle King, so I'm forced to switch out. I'm gonna go out into my Greninja, and my only hope of winning this battle is if I'm somehow able to live this next Sludge Wave. And then probably, like, retaliate back with, like, an Ice Beam or something like that, but pss, that's not the case. The, uh, the Grenin he's gonna go for the nice and powerful Sludge Wave that's gonna be able to knock out my Greninja, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is my Kong Calder. And, uh, I know a Mach Punch won't be able to knock it out from this range, even though it's Choice Bandit, but I'm still gonna go for it. I'm like, maybe, maybe if I get, like, a crit max damage, and if I would've gotten a crit, that would've been the end of the New King, and I would've been able to win the match. But, unfortunately, I don't get the crit, and he's able to go for the nice and powerful Earth Power. And knock out my Kong Calder. So that will be the match. I do lose, um, I think it was 2 0 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's his Neo King and then his um, Gyarados left. So, you know, it was a pretty fun, quick match. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out the Flawless Win. His channel will be down in the description below. He does pretty good content. He's a really good battler. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.